welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy, and I'm here with Kat here, who has her show um, at the Fringe called Black Magic. Um, Kat, do you want to tell us just a little bit about your show, first of all? Yes, uh, my show is a 50-minute dramacal, I call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a drama with music, It the music, it, the dialogue, and it's about the birth of the Negro spiritual and the power of music. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people know the spiritual music all over the world, but I felt like they didn't really understand the circumstances that led to its inception. Um, enslaved blacks in America were um, under a chattel slavery system, which meant that they were less than the animals, mm-hmm. so they weren't considered human beings. They were p- owned as property, um, and they couldn't speak about their problems, so they sang about them. Mm-hmm. They spontaneously spun this beautiful music, which now uh, worldwide mm. helps people kind of soothe their problems and go to a deeper place. Oh, so okay. amazing! And how did you kind of go about researching all the material for the show? Uh, well, some of the some of it's just in me mm-hmm. because I grew up the child of a bishop. My dad right. was a preacher man, and um, he liked the hymns and the spirituals. So I grew up with some of these sounds, and then I uh, went to the Library of Congress. Mm-hmm. Uh, I looked for stuff online, which online is, you know, there there are a lot of things there yeah. that actually helped uh, the show, images particularly, because it has images. It's physical theater, music, and images all woven together to mm-hmm. tell the story about the power of music. So. Fantastic. And so where is it you're... Where have you come from, basically? Uh, I was born in Washington, D.C., uh-huh. and uh, spent my formative years on the West Coast in the United States, both in Seattle, okay. Washington, and Los Angeles, yeah. where I was professional radio DJ That's for jazz right. stations. Yeah, <laughs> two of the top jazz stations in the country. So, you know, it was a lucrative career no, that I left yeah. to go schmecking around the world, <laughs> <laughs> carrying a sign saying, you know, racism is come taught. See. Yeah. <laughs> come see my show. Yeah. Um, but it was great. I mean, those, those, those were awesome, awesome jobs and mm. wonderful chapters in my life because it gave me an opportunity to also study acting, to do my music. I was doing all of it at one point before I decided, okay, mm-hmm. you know, I've done radio now for nearly a decade. Do I want to do this another decade yeah. or is it time to go out and do me? And yeah. so it was time to go and do what I had been preparing to do for a really long time. Fantastic. And uh, have you performed the show yet for any American audiences? I have. I did. um, I was really honored to be invited uh, as part of a series called East Edinburgh. Okay. And did I say that right? Edinburgh. I like that. Well done. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Hey. I'm not using that American accent. Um, And it's in New York off Broadway. So I got to be off Broadway with Black Magic, Songs Unchained. And they're, they're, festival is uh, incredible but it's a it's a she she you know off broadway uh venue yeah. so coming here i was like no dressing room what do you dressing mean you know because they have a dressing room <laughs> there and everything it was just really kind of a chic yeah. off broadway experience <laughs> yeah that was great so it was well received there got a nice review out mm-hmm. of new york um i was pleased as punch mm-hmm. and uh because this show was written in russia <laughs> it was a whole different yeah, experience. Here we go. And um, w- when it was written there in 2013, um, it was basically a friends and family audience that got to see it because mm-hmm. it was uh, something very special that was just mm-hmm. being created in that moment. Yeah. And now it's doing a whole nother thing. Yeah. It's really kind of exciting. That's so great. And how, how have you found the kind of Edinburgh audiences or the more international audience taking to it? Oh, I don't know how international my audiences are. Let right. me say, let me see. Because I have small audiences mm-hmm. right now, um, and I don't mind uh, at all. Um, it's a story that I think is hard to swallow. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> I always tell people the most beautiful things usually come out of ugly situations, mm-hmm. and this incredibly powerful music came out of a horrible, mm-hmm. horrible set of circumstances and situations and we look at that we go back mm-hmm. into those situations to come out on the other end with hope in our eyes and yeah. hope in our hearts so i think the audiences right now um i don't know what the british thing is mm-hmm. but i keep hearing oh this is kind of a 
a British thing where people are very, you know, because there's some moments in there where I break the fourth wall and I'm like, yeah. you know, <laughs> slavery chain done broke at last. Come on, yeah. you know, and they don't clap at all. They're, okay. But I think, we, you know, we just came out of a situation of lynching and, you know, so maybe yeah. they're just too yeah. overwrought to start clapping. But I'm trying to give them a moment mm -hmm. To break the the um, the chain, so mm. to speak, and loosen up, Can breathe. Just feel it, feel it. Yeah, because yeah. it gives me a moment to breathe, and I know <laughs> that it's I know that it's an intense show. So I'm like, yeah. okay, here's a moment yeah. to breathe and get away from it all. Amazing. But anyway, yeah, okay. the responses have been great. Yep. Um, it's just that uh, the people are not emotional people, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but even in the states, it was the same. It right. wasn't. Um, it wasn't a demographic that I was expecting. I don't really have a target audience. Yeah. You know, I talked to some young guys today uh, after the show for a minute, and the guy said, uh, "Sorry, I get really hot. Excuse mm -hmm. me for you know melting <laughs> all over the microphone." But um, you know, he said he had a target audience for his work, and I don't really have a target audience yeah. because I think it's something for everyone, yeah. as long as you're over 12, because some of the images are very disturbing, okay. it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. We all need to get the message that it is not a good thing for us mm -hmm. to discriminate, mm -hmm. to dislike anyone because of fear. Yeah. And racism is basically fear, mm -hmm. and it's taught, and we need to stop teaching it. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, we would love if you could maybe give us just a little sample uh, of uh, one of the, the songs that you sing um, in the show. Okay, um, let me see. What would I do? Oh, everybody knows this one. Okay. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, Coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. And as you can see, music, it's takes a lot of power I start yeah. Whoosh, yeah. because the energy you That's know true. most people don't realize that it's an energy <laughs> yeah. thing it's not just you know neck up yeah, it's like exactly. and it's body coming, it's coming from in there that was beautiful oh thank, thank you. you so so much thank yeah. you so, so much for that and there are codes in this music I don't talk so much about the codes mm -hmm. in the play I thought about giving out a little um key mm -hmm. but I didn't want people to be looking at the key mm -hmm. and listening to the song yeah. and saying oh what does that <laughs> mean blah 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 because then they're in their heads and they're not allowing their hearts to work and, um, but I can tell you now, mm -hmm. some of the codes home in the song refers to all, a home in heaven, of course, but also home in Canada, which if you could get across the river, so the song talks about Jordan River, mm -hmm. but actually those rivers were um, the Mississippi River and some mm -hmm. others. If you could get across the river, you could be in Canada and there was freedom in Canada. So a lot of the songs talking about freedom and home and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Um, are saying, hey, you know, and the chariot referred to um, the Underground Railroad and um, the wagons that some of the abolitionists would use to harbor slaves and help yeah. them get to freedom. Okay. There you go. That's amazing. Wow. What a great story. What a great, great story. Um, and can you just let our audiences know where and when they can find it? Yes, I am at Spotlights, um, which is in the Merchants Hall every day at 125. That's every day. Believe it or well not, <laughs> it's crazy not, not to take a break. <laughs> and come see me. Come see me. It's um, 50 minutes uh, of a cappella music, and we will go through some pain to come out on the other side with hope, and um, hopefully we'll, we'll leave the theater thinking about how to make the world a better place. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. This has been another episode of Waffle TV sponsored by Boomers.